Welcome to our YouTube channel Insta Cooking, where today we'll delve into the art of biryani cooking. Biryani, the queen of South Asian cuisine, is a tantalizing mix of rice, spices, and meat, with origins deeply rooted in the Persian lands. This culinary gem journeyed through the Indian subcontinent, adopting a multitude of flavors, and today we have countless variations. From the aromatic Hyderabadi biryani, the spicy Kolkata biryani, to the savory Lucknowi biryani, each type has a unique tale to tell. However, today we'll be focusing on the most loved version, the Hyderabadi biryani. Its irresistible aroma, succulent meat, and delicately spiced rice make it a favorite among food lovers globally. But before we get to the fun part, it's essential to understand that biryani isn't just a dish, it's an experience, a celebration of flavors. Now that we have a bit of background, brace yourselves as we dive into the aromatic world of biryani cooking. To create this culinary masterpiece, we'll need a few special ingredients. Let's start with long grain basmati rice, known for its enticing aroma and light, fluffy texture. Next, we have our star protein, chicken or lamb, depending on your preference. Spices play a crucial role in biryani, so we'll need a blend of turmeric, cumin, coriander, and garam masala for that characteristic depth of flavor. Fresh ginger, garlic, and green chilies will add a zesty kick, while a handful of chopped cilantro and mint leaves will bring a refreshing note. Don't forget the golden fried onions for a sweet, caramelized crunch. And for an authentic touch, a pinch of saffron soaked in warm milk for that signature yellow hue. If saffron is not available, you can substitute it with turmeric or food color. Lastly, we'll need some yogurt to tenderize the meat and balance the spices. With all these ingredients ready, we're set to start the cooking process. Before we start cooking, there are a few pre-preparation steps we need to carry out. These steps are essential as they lay the groundwork for our mouth-watering biryani. Firstly, let's talk about the rice. Biryani is all about the rice, so we need to give it some special attention. We'll be washing our basmati rice thoroughly under cold water. This step is needed to get rid of the extra starch, which can make our biryani sticky. And we definitely don't want that. Once the water runs clear, we'll leave the rice to soak for about 30 minutes. This soaking time allows the grains to absorb water and expand during cooking, giving us that fluffy, separate grain texture we love in a good biryani. Next up is marinating the meat. This step is where we infuse our meat with flavor. We'll take our chosen meat, be it chicken, mutton, or even paneer for our vegetarian friends, and marinate it with a blend of spices, yogurt, and a hint of lemon juice. The acid in the yogurt and lemon juice tenderizes the meat while the spices seep in, promising a flavor-packed bite every time. And speaking of spices, let's get them ready too. Biryani's signature taste comes from its unique blend of spices. We'll need to gather and prepare our spices, the likes of cumin, coriander, turmeric, and star anise, along with fresh ginger and garlic. If you're using whole spices, lightly roasting and grinding them can elevate the aroma and flavor even more. Lastly, we can't forget our garnishes. Thinly slice some onions and fry them until they are crispy and golden brown. These will add a wonderful crunch and sweetness to our biryani. Also, chop some fresh coriander and mint leaves, which we'll use later to layer our biryani. Now that we've completed the pre-preparation steps, we're ready to start cooking. So tie on your apron, roll up your sleeves, and let's get cooking. Now we begin the exciting journey of cooking our biryani. First, let's get a deep wide-bottom pan heated up on medium flame. Once it's hot, add in a generous knob of clarified butter, or ghee as it's widely known. You can also use oil, but ghee gives a richer taste. The aroma of melting ghee will transport you to a festive Indian kitchen. Now to this beautiful golden pool of ghee, we'll add thinly sliced onions. Remember, the onions are the backbone of this dish, so we want to carefully caramelize them to a deep golden brown. This step is essential for that signature biryani flavor. It might take some time, but trust me, the outcome is worth every second spent. While our onions are browning, let's get the rice ready. Remember the rice we soaked in the pre-preparation steps? We're going to drain that now. It's important to be gentle here. We don't want to break any grains. All right, back to our onions. They should be beautifully browned by now. It's time to add the marinated meat. The sizzle and the aroma of the meat hitting the hot pan is just divine. Stir it around, ensuring all the pieces are coated with the caramelized onions. Once the meat is browned, we'll add our spice mix. This is where the magic happens. 
The heat will release the oils and the spices, filling your kitchen with an intoxicating aroma. Stir it well, ensuring every piece of meat is well coated with the spices. Now we'll lower the heat and add half of our soaked and drained rice over the meat. Even it out with a spatula, creating a nice, even layer. Over this, sprinkle some of our fried onions, mint, and coriander. This will give our biryani its characteristic layers of flavor. We're now ready for the second layer. Distribute the remaining rice over the first layer, again ensuring it's even. On top of this, sprinkle the remaining fried onions, mint, and coriander. This is our final layer, the one that will give our biryani its beautiful, colorful top. Now here's a little secret. Pour a bit of saffron-infused milk over the top layer. This will give our biryani a beautiful color and a rich, aromatic flavor. Finally, it's time to seal the deal. Literally. We're going to cover our pan with a tight-fitting lid. This is essential to ensure that the steam doesn't escape. The steam will cook our biryani, making the rice fluffy and the meat tender. Before we place it on the heat, let's wrap the lid with a clean kitchen towel. This will absorb any extra steam, ensuring our biryani doesn't get soggy. And there you have it. Our biryani is now layered and sealed, ready to cook. We'll place our pan on low heat and let it cook undisturbed for about 30 minutes. The low heat will ensure the flavors meld together, creating a dish that's greater than the sum of its parts. With the final layer in place, our biryani is now ready to be cooked on low heat. As the biryani cooks, the flavors meld together to create a dish that's truly a feast for the senses. Let's delve into the final steps of the cooking process, which are every bit as vital as the initial preparation and cooking. Now, we've reached the stage where the biryani needs to simmer gently. This is when the magic happens. The rice, meat, and spices all combine, exchanging flavors and aromas. This is not a step to be rushed. Patience is key here, and it's this slow cooking that allows the biryani to reach its full potential. The duration of this simmering process is crucial. Typically, it's about 20 to 25 minutes. But remember, every kitchen and every pot is unique. So keep an eye on your biryani, ensuring it's neither undercooked nor overcooked. After the simmering comes the resting. Yes, just like us, the biryani needs a moment to gather itself. This rest period allows the flavors to penetrate deeper, making every bite an explosion of taste. A good 10 to 15 minutes of rest should do the trick. And now, to the moment we've been waiting for, the serving. Uncover the pot and let the aroma fill the room. Carefully fluff the rice with a fork, revealing the layers of color and flavor. Ladle out generous servings, making sure to get a bit of everything. And voila, our aromatic and flavorful biryani is ready to be served. This is not just a dish, it's a celebration of flavors, a testament to the art of cooking. Cooking biryani is an art, and with practice, anyone can master it. From gathering the right ingredients to prepping, cooking, and serving, each step is crucial. Remember, the magic lies in the details. Don't be disheartened if your first attempt doesn't turn out perfect. Keep practicing, keep experimenting, and soon you'll be cooking biryani like a pro. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and share it with your friends. Happy cooking!